Hi all, Darren Hansborough from DA Components. This video is all about pumps and flow rates and outlets. So I'm just going to talk about uh, ways of using different outlets and what parts are available for said pumps. The most common question I get asked for is the backpacks on the market. Most backpacks on the market have a standard pump. Uh, I do believe you can use factory film over in them, but you're always best to rinse them out afterwards. But we have seen a trend of, do you sell the mini chemical pump for backpacks? And surprisingly, we do. It's a little mini pump like so. Okay. And as the rubber feet on, I just turn it around for you. As the rubber feet on, and this pump is a direct replacement pump. For the most backpacks out there, the most popular one is the Gardner's one. It's exactly the same. It even has the flow rate exactly the same. On these little pumps here, on this face plate here, you should see a little arrow. An arrow is facing that way. If the arrow is facing this way, that means the flow direction is going that way. But if you buy that one from DA Components, the flow rate is the correct way for Gardner's backpack. And also, this pump will fit the yellow big boy backpack. Now, with the yellow big boy backpack, you do have threaded barbs that go on the end of the pumps, on the yellow backpack. So if you replace the chemical pump in the uh, yellow backpack, the big boy, you would need to do away with all the threads, uh, threaded outlets. And this one here is just a 10 mil outlet, so you'd have to put your hose into some hot water first and slide it over the outlet and dubly clip together. So this fits most backpacks on the market, a direct replacement for gardeners backpacks. And yes, it does fit the, the yellow or big boy backpack as well. Okay. And it does come with a couple of wire connectors to connect it to uh, your backpack. So that's my uptake on a little mini chemical uh, backpacks pumps so then we move on to the next pump that we have available which is an Acrotec pump it's 9 amps rated and it's a uh, 100 psi and it's I think it's 5.5 liters per minute it's one of the most popular ones for window cleaning only uh, there is the show flow pump which is possibly give this a good run. In the last 10 years, show flow pumps were possibly number one, but in the last two years, I do believe that the built quality, personal experience, I think has dropped off a bit. Uh, I don't know what it's like now. I think it might have changed. It might have sorted itself out. So we opted for the Aquatec pumps. And I do believe these are more bulletproof. And that's a personal uh, preference. And then let's talk about the outlets on this said pump. So the outlets on this pump does come with some male to male barb connectors. So that threads inside each side of the pump and let an outlet. Once that's in there, you do have a straight connector, straight barb, but threads to the end of that, like so, then that threads in there. And this side here will go to your reel. If you wanted to add a, a pump strainer to that, you thread the male connector, the male to male connector into the pump first. Then you get your pump strainer. This threads to the, the white connector. Most pumps, the, the, the filter is actually on the left hand side. And you can always check the flow direction on the bigger pumps because just underneath here, you should see an arrow just on the outlet here. And that's a direction of flow here. There's just should be just a little arrow. So that's the inlet that so comes on the inlet and the, and the arrow here goes to your reel. So that's a pump strainer fitted to the pump. And then to get to... The, the tank outlet, you just fit a straight barb to the inlet. If you don't want the straight barbs, barbs sorry, 
you can just thread them off just take that off and you have 90 degree bends as well so they can always just thread onto here and then you've got the ability if your hose comes underneath it can go up to there my top tip when mounting pumps like this is always fit it low as possible to the tank this will help gravity go to the pump then the pump can take it from there if it's dead high your efficient initial setup you probably will get away with it but in later date you will get an issue of airlocks and once that starts it starts becoming a massive issue so i always advise even if you di only as well i always advise lowering the pumps as low as possible as you can it just helps the pump perform to its maximum ability so my next top tip is say for argument's sake you're actually out on a job and i don't know something falls in the van and this connector here this connector here it breaks and you don't have a spare there's no reason why you can't nip down to your local b and q or any tool station or screw fix you can actually get a tap connector hose lock connector like so it won't fit it straight away because you need to get the tap reducer now the tap reducer is the same size as the male outlet that threads onto that first and then you have the ability to fit the tap connector to the outside of that thread which is the tap reducer and then you can use a, a hose lock connector to get you away on the job if you don't have no spares of the wing uh, straight or bends so that's my uptake on uh, the window cleaning pump pump strainer uh, mill to mill connectors uh, straight connectors 90 degree bends and also if you get stuck on a job you can always uh, have that little setup like that and then i do believe these connectors here they're all available on the website as well you can actually buy them separately like so or you can actually buy it as a kit so you can have just take this off here you can actually have this kit here with a straight on and you can have this barb kit here this mill to mill barb connector you can have that as a kit as a straight or you can have it as a 90 degree bend so then we move on to another pump that we do stock which is a chemical pump it's mainly aimed for soft washing guys or you're just getting into the industry and you've got your chemical mini chemical pump fitted to your backpack and now you're moving on to the bigger jobs where for like i sake you wanted to clean a roof or buy a side of roof and you wanted to make your own control panel or something or you wanted to make your own pump box we do sell control panels as well they're all available on the website so this pump is a Vuitton seal pump again this one's 70 psi rated and this one here is actually eight eight liters per minute or 8.2 8.3 liters per minute so you're getting more uh liters per minute on the said area and it's exactly the same outlets of what we just talked about and that's the reason why I like these mill to mill connectors if you get stuck you can always replace them with a hose type hose, hose lock type connector and these are all interchangeable it just threads into there but you need this part here this mill to mill connector to fit in that pump first now i do do controllers as well which can control all these pumps so but with uh this pump here the v16 controller fantastic the v16 controller fantastic the v16 controller on this one you can still use it on that one but i think it's an overkill if you wanted to make a little pump box we have a type one controller available for that so that's my uptake about pumps flow rates and different connectors but the main 
the main part that I, I really like when I started doing this was this melt and nail connector is the key. So yeah, that's my uptake on pumps connectors available from Darren Ansborough Gear Components. Thanks a lot.